Heat from the sun is the simplest and least costly way of passively heating a building. However, avoiding direct solar heat is also important in summer months and in warm sunny climates. Therefore, it's important to look at the path of the sun in the sky. As you can see, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, is higher and stronger in the summer, and lower and less intense in the winter. In the summer, deciduous trees such as the maple and oak are full of leaves, providing shading in the warm months and in turn, passively cooling the building. In winter, these trees lose their leaves and allow the less intense winter sun to warm the building. Deciduous trees and vegetation are best planted on the south, east and west sides to conserve energy and provide passive cooling and heating. Following the same principle, this example shows a deciduous vine such as grape being used on a trellis overhang feature providing partial shade in summer and allowing maximum heat from the sun in winter. Trees can also be used to either funnel cool wind towards a building air intake or to redirect colder winds away. In winter, cold winds can take a lot of heat out of a building. Shrubs and evergreen trees like the spruce, planted strategically, can redirect these winds. Passive cooling techniques such as these can help lower heating costs and in turn, save energy and help the environment.